What is going on, everybody? I'm finally home, so I can finally make my thoughts on the Tigers uh, today. So they made a move today, finally in free agency, a bigger move. They already made a minor move this year. Uh, they acquired Sean Hill uh, earlier this about earlier this week, but he's some minor league pitcher from the Blue Jays, which it was no big deal. But today they made really big news. They picked up a corner outfielder to replace Delman Young, and it is none other than Torrey Hunter. Yes, Torrey Hunter. Uh, my thoughts are, are very well known on Torrey Hunter. Uh, do I like this move? Nope. I love this move by the Detroit Tigers. I absolutely adore it. Uh, Torrey Hunter, you know, he comes in and he's going to hit number, he's going to hit two. So he's going to be sandwiched between Jackson and Cabrera. And last year, you know, he had the same similar situation. You know, he had Mike Trout uh, hit in front of Torrey Hunter. So someone that gets on a lot. And Austin Jackson got on uh, at a 370 clip last year. That was his OVP. So you're going to have a guy that gets on a lot in front of Hunter. And then Hunter is going to take advantage of hitting in front of the best hitter in their game. And Miguel Cabrera right behind him. So he's going to see some fastballs that the number two hitters this year did not do. Uh, I had the splits actually all wrote out for the Tigers' two-hole hitters. Uh, I actually went and did all the math and stuff. And it took me a while. But that's, I think their OBP was just 300. Uh, and they hit, I think, 225. Five combined uh, for every person that hit in a two-hole this year. That was a collective uh, average. So you just took that out, and you get a guy that had his career high in OBP last year. I think his OBP was like 365, somewhere in there. Was, uh, I think it could have even been in the 370s. It was in the 360s, though, for sure. Hit 313, uh, hit 16 homers, 92 RBIs. So, I mean, you get a guy that's going to provide some consistency in the two-hole slot. And, you know, the Tigers' defense last year is was their biggest thing. You know, it was not that good. You go on baseball efforts right now, and you look at Torrey Hunter's uh, number or uh, gold gloves, he's got nine of them next to his name because, you know, he is one of the best defensive outfielders. Now, he's not as fast as he used to be, but he could still get to balls, and he doesn't – he makes every routine play, and he can still make the great play too. He doesn't – he knows how to man – right and left field. He can play both spots. He has a good arm, too. I think he had 13 assists last year from uh, the outfield. So he's still good in the outfield. He brings nine gold gloves with him. Uh, I think he even had 10 steals, too. And he's a right-handed hitter that hits lefties. This year against left-handed starters, he hit 317 with a 417 slugging percentage with a 798 OPS, had four homers and 27 RBIs against lefties. The Tigers last year were destroyed. And especially in the playoffs, it was exposed on a national level, destroyed by left-handed starters. Why? Beyond me. Beyond me. You got Miguel Cabrera there who hits everyone. But he only hit, I think... Six or seven homers off left-handed starters all year. All his damage came off of righties for some reason. And Delman Young didn't do anything. He was a bum. I'm glad he's gone. And then Prince Fielder, you know, lefty on lefty. I'll cut him some slack. I think he hit close to 300 against lefties. And it's just perplexing. Like, how do they get whooped by left-handed starters as bad as they did last year? If you just sit there and go, wow. This was pathetic. I think they were like 23 and 25 against left-handed starters this year. It was bad. It was really, really bad. But you bring a righty in there that hits, uh, that hit a left, hit lefties at a 3.17 average last year. Had four homers, 25 RBIs. Uh, you know, his walks are almost dead even from uh, against either righties or lefties. Against righties this year, he hit 3.11, had a 3.57 OBP, 4.69 uh, slugging, 8.20. Six OPS, and he had uh, 20 walks on on against righties and 18 walks against lefties, um, and he had 67 RBIs against righties and 12 homers. So he mashes hit, hitting. He doesn't care who it is, it's righty, lefty, it don't matter. He's going up there. He's going to hit, and this is what he brings. He's it's good defense. You know, a guy that hits righty or lefties well, a right-handed hitter that hits lefties well, uh, a clubhouse presence because uh, he's. 
definitely a vocal leader. That was the biggest thing. Octavio Dotel even said, you know, there was no emotion. There was no vocal leader really in the clubhouse. Everyone is pretty much quiet to themselves, you know, because Cabrera is not a very outspoken guy. Neither is Verlander, uh, even though by his mound presence you'd think he is, but he's really not. He's really a quiet guy. And, you know, Torrey Hunter, he's the dude. He's a clubhouse guy. He's a leader. You know, he's a talkative dude. Uh, you know, everyone that plays him loves him. Ask Mike Trout. You know, Mike Trout said Torrey Hunter is one of the, the biggest people he learned from in his rookie year to help him get by. You know, and now you bring him on a team with youngsters like Garcia. You know, he's going to be, he signed a two-year contract. So there's a damn good chance Castellanos will be up in 2014 when Hunter's on his last year's contract. So he's going to have Hunter talk in his ear, teach him how to play the outfield, you know. And then Dirks can learn from him. And then on top of his great clubhouse presence, and, you know, he's a good vocal leader. So he just brings so much to the table. Defense, leadership, he can hit lefties. You know, he had a career la career year last year. And he goes from a situation, like I said, that's similar from Anaheim. You know, he had Trout in front of him. Now he's got Jackson. Both got on base at a really high percentage. And then he had Pujols behind him, and you got Cabrera. So he's leaving Anaheim and going in almost identical situation. And, you know, the Tigers, they could win next year. You know, you could get Victor Martinez back. So one through five is going to be nasty amazing i mean jackson you know you a lot of i don't know how many people are expecting him to repeat what he did last year i honestly think this is how he's going to be for the rest of his career he's he really showed signs i think he's going to strike out even less next year jackson and then you're gonna have jackson and then hunter and then cabrera and then prince and then martinez and imagine if peralta can go back to anything like he was in 2011 and you know hopefully avila has a bounce back here you know they're looking like a good team then you get the whiff machine Dalman young out of your lineup so there's a hundred strikeouts gone and a guy that gets on base at a 300 clip gone you know and you had you know victor martinez uh where where Dalman was batting last year and and hunter's versatile too you can hit him six you can hit him two you know wherever you want to choose but you know he's going to be most likely in the two hole and he's going to provide a lot more consistent to see in that spot and him and Jackson and Garcia next year are going to be an outstanding outfield trio you know that's going to be you know defense in the outfield is no longer even going to be thought of a question and you know I really love this move uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is it was for 26 million so it's 13 per I thought that was a little much uh, I thought Hunter was more of worth 9 million or 10 million but they got the guy I wanted and they got him for cheaper than Michael Bourne would have cost uh her every year for the next five years because Bourne's probably going to sign a four or five year deal. So I love this move. I'm so happy. The only question is now is, is he going to get number 48 from Rick Porcello? That's the only question I got. So absolutely love this deal, guys. It's going to help out the Tigers in so many ways. And I cannot wait for 2013 to see his team play because they're going to be better than they were this year. I guarantee it. All right, guys, have a good one. Go Tigers.